Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Danny. I am a physician assistant. I started working in the urgent care setting right out of PA school because I wanted to keep my general knowledge of medicine before diving into a specialty. I know I want to keep like a general sense of medicine, so I don't want to dive into like derm or plastics, aesthetics right now, although that's something I could see myself doing in the future. Ultimately, I wanted to get into cosmetic medicine because of many reasons. I love everything about the skin I love hands-on procedures and I love social media as you can probably tell so all of those passions into one is why I pursued cosmetic medicine with that being said this video is going to be taking you through my process of studying cosmetic medicine I'm the type of person who likes to be as prepared as possible so I ultimately chose to take a course and learn really learn how to perform injectables before I actually start doing it the course I chose I found on Google it's called supervision 180 I chose this course because it offered CME credits which was huge for me it had an online portion and the most important portion I would say is the hands-on portion I flew out to Vegas for the hands-on portion which was nice it was also like a little vacation and the instructors guided me and taught me how to perform you know Botox and fillers on model patients so obviously there are a lot of great courses out there just do your research you know, before paying the money because a lot of them are pretty costly and but if you're looking for the course I use I will link it in the description I do have a discount code that I was able to get from them it's Danny SV 180 and you actually get 15% off so it's a pretty good deal but obviously if you land a job in the setting you don't necessarily need a course if you're gonna have someone guide you and give you the materials to study on your own this is a difficult you know area of medicine to get into without any connections or without experience so I definitely think that having the courses and my social media presence did help land me a job in this setting. I just came out of an interview in Miami. I believe it went well. I am on my way back to my second interview, so wish me luck. Me and my mother are delivering the old-fashioned way, door to door, in sunny South Florida. How's it going? It's going. You said it perfect. So I did have a couple of job offers as an aesthetic PA, but I chose one that I'm super excited about. I think it has the most promise. Look at their pictures right here. It's so beautiful. It's super high end in a great area. Click this video if you want to see how I apply for jobs and how I always land multiple offers without experience. More than just learning, we're also networking with people from all around the country, establishing connections in different states. Networking is everything, referrals are everything. For this business in particular with cosmetic medicine, learning from all different people from different backgrounds, it really helps. What's up guys? Before I go to work, I want to review some of the course. So I have to finish Botox Basics, Botox Advanced, Fillers Basics, and Fillers Advanced before I get to the hands-on session in Vegas. So I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. So what I just learned was the glabellar complex, how to inject, very cool videos so they tell you how much neurotoxin to inject, what muscles are in the area, what arteries and veins to avoid. So I learned that it is in like a bird's wing pattern, one, two, three, total of five. But it was really cool and fun to see, I'm excited, next I'm going to learn the forehead lines. Back in line with the pupil and another two units. They just tested me on that section. I got 100%, so we're retaining the information. So let's get into it. Okay, good morning guys. Today is my day off. It's Wednesday, so I am going to spend the day editing personal statements, learning my course, going to the gym, and then doing a few errands I gotta do. So, take you along for the ride. All right guys, so I hit upper body and lower body already once this week. So today is gonna be kind of a mix of full body, whatever kind of I'm feeling in the moment. I don't have, you know, a set gym routine. I just go when I can and try to just get an effective workout in. It's 
So what's up guys? I'm at my library's terrace. I am studying. I just finished my full course of the Botox basics. So the basics course covers the 11s, the foreheads, and the crow's feet. There's three types of neuromodulators. You have Botox, Xeomin, and Dysport. Botox is the one we commonly refer to. That was the first one that was FDA approved. Dysport is not compatible to the other ones because it requires more units to be effective. It has a quicker onset of action, but it also diffuses more. Let's say you inject here, it'll diffuse more into the other areas of your face. So I'm gonna be spending the rest of the night finishing those personal statements because you guys are waiting and then when I'm done with that I will be hopefully working on my course a little bit of sugar is that a nice oh! Oh! that's what happens when you're too focused on content and not on what you're doing. It's eight o'clock and I'm having a little cup of coffee. I feel like I'm back in a PA school. But So it's Saturday, got my menstrual period today, hit me pretty hard. So it's actually like 1.30 and I have done nothing except read two chapters of this, <laughs> the Bridgerton series. Today I am doing my basic filler course. I am on slide 21. So the basic filler course covered the nasolabial folds, the marinette lines, the mental crease, and the introduction to the lips. I watched the course here, take notes on my iPad with the PDFs. We we have about two weeks until Vegas, so I better get working on this. So it's a work day, I'm in my scrubs. I have work in about an hour and a half, so I am just going to review a little bit and try to get the course done. But I wanted to show you guys this product I got. You just kind of place it on your areas of redness. Did, I got a facial, she did an extraction, but you can kind of see like the redness around my nose definitely went away. Pretty good. Now let's get into the course. I finished the Neurotoxin Basics, awarded 10 CMEs, and now I am about halfway done, maybe Maybe a little left of the dermal filler basics so let's take a look at hyaluronic acid filler product the other reason to use a hyaluronic acid is nowadays compared to what we used to have when I first started injecting we have so many more choices when it comes to hyaluronic acid from small size fillers to very large molecule fillers was the first dermal filler approved by the FDA for cosmetic subdermal injection we're looking at how NASA technology works with two of the Galderma fillers Restylane and Restylane lip practical application Applications, mild to moderate nasolabial folds, lip augmentation. I'm on my lunch break. I saw 17 patients this morning. Well, it's three o'clock, so whatever. I'm on my lunch break and um, answering emails because I got a lot of work to do outside of work. So. Who wants to be on my YouTube video? We had a good day. It's 11, 11. I am pooped. Gonna go to bed.
Of the preorbital tissues, the eye loses its elasticity and volume. The loose tissue. It's 7:30, and I'm on my way to the gym before work. I've never been able to really do this before, but I went to bed last night at like 10 o'clock. So. It truly makes a difference what time you go to bed. I feel well rested. I'm on my way to the gym before work. This is crazy. Hopefully it's a nice and easy day. I'll keep you updated. bit of the course left. I'm gonna go ahead and work on that now. There's no patience here, so I really have nothing to do. We're live I'm with at the airport. airport. Holding my bag. However, please make oh. If you have any difficulty finding bags, let us know. Once again, going to Vegas. Hey, what happened to Vegas? Steve. Greek That's salad. the Greek salad, chicken wing. It's been a long journey, but we made it. We're here. <sighs> I'm ready to go to sleep. It's what, 4 a.m., Fort Lauderdale time right now? I have to wake up at like 7 in the morning. Alrighty, I am ready to go. Let's show you my outfit. Yep. Pushing to the four because I'm pushing five units. Needle width, and I'm going to push two units. Botox. Filler's different. Filler takes a little more time. Okay, and that's what I would do this one of two ways. I would either do exactly what you're doing, two and two, or if you wanted, you could do one injection site and do probably three. But I think the two and two is fine. Yeah, okay, perfect.
Okay, now you're moving. Okay, so now go ahead and start to move your needle. Keep pushing, keep pushing the plunger, keep pushing the plunger, push. Babe, what day is it today? Sunday. We're leaving Vegas. We had Peace a great out. time.